So from someone who had no visions of working with dogs, I'm now winner of Dog Trainer of the Year with a quite a big business with several members of staff with several venues where we train dogs and it has really grown and it's something that can be really successful. Growing up I had no idea what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to work, I didn't want to go to college because I didn't have that vision of anything specific that I wanted to do. I was um, about to finish my GCSEs, I applied for a lot of jobs and got offered two modern apprenticeships. And I took the one that was local because it meant I could walk and save money on bus fare. Once I got there, I, I didn't really like it. The provider of the modern apprenticeship that I'd got the job through said, we've got another job opportunity for you there if you want to take it. So this was in the court service in a county court. I was an administration officer in the courts, so I, I didn't feel like I was getting the recognition I should have got there. I wasn't really getting the opportunities to continue doing what I wanted to do there, so I left. I used to work with one of the guys that left to basically gamble for a living. He had friends that had created this system that undid the odds system that bookies use to basically guarantee us the profit instead of the bookies. The hours were really long um, and it was quite difficult. Basically they created the software that did everything for us so we weren't going to have to sit in front of a computer waiting for it to beep at us all day. And we got that running um, and it was working quite nicely to begin with. I didn't have anything to do at that point because the software was doing everything for us. Our dog walking business was dead busy, my partner was turning away work, so I decided to help out, take on some dogs um, and start a career in dog walking. After that started, the software basically broke and, and didn't work as well as it should have. It was a bit of a crossroads where I either had that option to continue with dog walking and continue with the kind of new business that I'd built that was going to be sustainable or go back to the one I knew was kind of time limited. So I went for dog walking and scrapped the rest. As soon as I started, the first dogs I went to see was Bailey and Foster. Bailey was a Border Collie, and like a lot of Border Collies, they can be quite reactive to traffic, to people, to dogs. Initially, we just praised them using verbal praise and some affection, and because that's what he really loved. He liked to treat, but he loves being told he's a good boy. That was the moment I realised we could change these dogs' lives and we could change the owners' lives, and make their walks happier, make their relationship stronger and um, overall give them a better quality of life. So after seeing how Bailey responded to that and how almost easy it was to change his behaviour completely, which I now know is a complete fluke, um, I, I thought this is really easy, this is something I could do as a job, I'm interested in this now and I want to learn more. So I started um, with a level three college course. It was kind of the moment that I was like, I can do this. As part of that training, um, Leanne, who's the head trainer for uh, Dog Training College, she was on that course as well. Um, and that's where we started talking and really got to know each other a bit more. So that's where I met Leanne and that's where uh, the beginning of my business started to happen and I basically started as a dog trainer. Since then, I became an instructor with the Dog Training College and started teaching their body language courses and their reactive dog courses. Dog Training College do offer a lot of support, whether that is free calls on boosting the business, free webinars on how to transform your business and make it more profitable, um, communities where you get to ask questions about specific cases that you're not sure of the answers to, um, or whether that is their Find a Dog Trainer website where they specifically market their members as dog trainers without marketing themselves. I had my vision there of just being me, but then it, it transformed so quickly and worked so well that now I can take on more people and I, I need even my own support staff there to help with the day-to-day -day running of the business. Um, here we are winning awards. We've got Dog Trainer of the Year with the Dog Friendly magazine. We've got a few local awards that we've won there, been named in a few books. Yeah, dog training as a business can be exceptionally profitable. For anyone starting a dog training business, you, you can take it as far as you want it, as long as you've got that clear vision of exactly what it is that you want your business to look like. Basically, you can take it as far as you want. Here I am, running the business that a lot of people dream of now.